Well, some people called it a rant. I prefer to think of it as a soliloquy and an elegant one as well. Those of you who missed it, uh, Harmy uh, was uh, speaking at length, as I said, eloquently, uh, and pleading for England not to arrive in India three days before the first test in Hyderabad. He wanted them to prepare properly. England captain Ben Stokes responded on Twitter, but more importantly, called Harmy and I believe had a long conversation. The, it was private and it should stay that way, Harmy. But the mere fact that the England captain took the time and trouble, and it was a considerable amount of time, to call you to discuss uh, is, again, the umpteenth illustration of how much he cares for Test cricket and wanted you to know and to share with our listeners and viewers how much he cares about Test cricket. Am I reading that right? Yes, but um, he's he cares about Test cricket. He cares about the England cricket team. And once I'd seen what had been put out, I was half expecting it because it's his job, it's his duty to to protect his team. Um, me saying I was out of order when I said they deserve to get beat five nil. I've rolled that back, and I and I and I, and I was I shouldn't have said that because I don't want any England team. I care. That's why I had the rant. I don't want any England team to lose. I don't. I don't want any England team, especially led by Ben Stokes, to lose any Test matches. Um, because of the level of respect I've got for him. Uh, it was a conversation between two friends who have come back a long, long way, who have, from my point of view, seen the development of of a wonderful human being grow up from a 15-year-old coming into the Durham dressing room to being one of the most inspirational characters and cricketers of, of not just English cricket, but of world cricket and the way he tries to preserve Test match cricket. I understand all the points he was making. Um, he was. You know, I, I, I told him what I, what I said and why I said things. Um, but like like you mentioned, these conversations, you know, the the, the remain private. Um, my level of respect for him, to be honest, couldn't get any higher. You know, this guy's not big enough to to, to sort of the ceiling level for, for the way I think about you know England's captain. Um, I understand, you know, why they they're spending time in in Abu Dhabi uh, because of the training facilities are so much better than what you potentially get in India. I still believe three days is not, it's not, not enough because of who's going. It's more, it's more about the personnel. I, I think if England's bowling attack was going to be Jack Leach, Moen Ali, like the last time England were there, Rowan Anderson, then I'd say fine. Yeah, you get away with three days because of the amount of preparation they're going to do and what they're going to do in, in Abu Dhabi. But, I still, I still believe with with the the, the young spin bowlers, uh, and and, it's, and one of the one of them could be a teenager making uh, playing his first game in India, in that first Test match in Hyderabad. I think it's a tall order and a tall ask. Um, and then obviously it's the seam bowlers as well. So um, after the conversation, I am um, he again. You know, this is this is um, this is somebody protecting. Test match cricket, and as we'll hear, you know, we'll turn to talk to John Norman a, a little bit later on about what's happening in the world of Test match cricket. Um, I think it's, I think it's so good for English cricket that like you've got a man at the top who who loves Test match cricket as much as Ben Stokes does, because if he didn't, I fear where the where not the England cricket team would be, I fear where World Test cricket could be. So, you know, it, I there was few things I shouldn't have said. There's a few things I will will stand by and still believe in. And I still believe that, you know, preparation time in India is, is not quite enough. Um, but while England have got an, a leader like Ben, you could go to India for six weeks before and still lose a test series. You can go to Abu Dhabi for six weeks before and still lose a test series. But at the end of the day, you know, it's how you how you perform in them five test matches. But while you've got a while you've got an inspirational leader like Ben, then I think the England cricket team will give everything they possibly can to win in India, which is an unbelievably tough place to go. So it was an interesting week, Manners. It was a very very interesting week um, because some people agreed, some people disagreed. Um, but the the beauty for me is it was it was a conversation between two people who have known each other for a long long time on one common theme, 
that we both care about the England cricket team. And uh, like I said before, he is um, while we, while we've got him, uh, England, England England's Test match cricket is in a great place. You may not always agree with your captain or your coach uh, in any sport, and I'm sure that in your own brief football managerial career. You, you would have insisted on understanding the game plan. You may not have agreed with it, um, but as long as you understand what a team is trying to do, then it does make a lot of difference. You might think it's right or wrong. So my question is, I love asking you for a one-word answer because I, I enjoy witnessing your inability to give me one. My question is, do you understand... <laughs> Do you understand, yes or no, what England are trying to achieve with this build-up in Abu Dhabi and arriving three days before the game? 100% yes. I fully understand. 100% yes. And I probably did understand when I was having that rant because the facilities are so much better. There's a lot of, a lot of talk, man. It's about golf. And I don't think there's anything wrong with golf. You know, when it comes to, when it comes to preparing for a test match, is there a better way... You, you tell me how you train for six and a half hours on your feet. You know, you know that for me is as long as you're not doing it this stupidly in the middle of the afternoon when it's red hot. I mean, I'm preparing for a test series. A lot of people have been making you know you know funny quips at the, at the golf side of it, but I, I I don't have a problem with them playing golf, and I fully understand why they're in Abu Dhabi because the practice facilities are so much better than what you'd get. In India, two pitches with net round them on the outfield. I get why they're doing it. But unfortunately, I'm still one of the old-fashioned ones who thinks, you know, boots on the ground and time on the ground for a period of time leading into the first test match is sometimes more valuable. So I can understand it, yes. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.